Hello, YouTube. It's BTM here. Welcome you back to the Black Tiger Miner YouTube channel. And this is the actual Casper BPS 10 Alpha release. So if you can see here, I'm still looking through the information and understanding what it's showing. But this is awesome. This graphic is awesome, just to say the least, right? This is a engineering or a development jewel. You can see how the um, blocks continue to connect, like all these long lines are orphan blocks that are connecting. So once this hits the mainstream public and people understand what it's doing, I think Casper's going to pump again. So let me know what you think about that. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'm going to show you where to get it and uh, another option. And this is the current, this is the uh, BPS-1. And you can see the process, but you can see how much slower it is compared to the BPS-10. So literally it's going to be at least 10 times as faster. Because you can see here, I'm not sure if this is my network or internet, but you see here how the BPS-1 is so much slower. Then if we look at 10, see how much faster, smoother, and um, resilient in the transfer and the stream is, right? It's streaming pretty much uh, seamlessly. So let me know what you think about that. I think this is awesome. I think this is a, a marveling jewel. So shout out to the uh, Casper developers, Michael Sutton, Shy, and the rest of the Caspa development team. I can't wait for this to be out and everyone start using it. So if we go back to Twitter, sudden hats off to Crypto Aspect and uh, Aspectron is where it is. This is a tremendous effort and amazing achievement. A broad system already built over Caspa on Rust infrastructure, making core layers accessible and expandable. Uh, this is a Casper currency that official uh, Casper page. Casper has next gen King. The successor of KDX platform has been released. The alpha version. Uh, please help us test it. Find more details in the release at um, a spectron uh, dot org. The visualization alone is worth the view, and he is right. These visualizations is. Amazing, just to say the least. I mean, I might put this on one of my other machines to just let it run all day because this is pretty cool. Um, and in his link here, once you click this, uh, I'll put this link in the information on the page and it brings you here. And that is the alpha release. Just go online and it shows you and there's something about a wallet that I wanted to check too. Yeah. Uh, Casper NG in depth, the wallet. And I haven't started looking at that yet. I do have the KDX wallet. So I'm probably going to have to uh, read through this and understand how to update the wallet. If you've already updated the wallet, let me know. Or if you have any information, about the new wallet, let me know. Well, remember, Casper, Casper, Casper. Let's freaking go. And then let me see something else I was looking at. So that was that. And if you go here, you can change the settings from uh, mainnet, which is production, to testnet 10, to testnet 11. And that's what we were just looking at. And here we'll go to settings, go to wallet. And I think I'll figure out how to connect the wallet because I already have a wallet. So I don't know if you got to create a new wallet or you can connect to the old one. But I suspect we probably got to create a new wallet. And since you have the 12 word harmonic part, I'm not going to do that right now. But I am going to check that when I finish making the video. And I guess I can walk you guys through that. Uh, as well but let me know what you think about that and what you think about the new next gen casper ng alpha release and we'll go to here 
But before we get that, let's check to see if there's any other thing. Because there was something else here. Um, any Casper fans interested in mining want to try their luck? And this is the last day of the giveaway. And I'm definitely going to try for this KS1 or KS2. I already have two KS Pros and two KS Zeros. So we'll see how that works. Let me know if any of you guys entered this or how to enter and if you found anything. And this is Uphold Alert, our Topper user in Canada. The following tokens have been relisted on Topper and available via widget with any of our Topper partners. And you can see here, this is Cardano, Dodge, HBAR, uh, Ingest, or uh, Caspa, Shib, uh, XDC, and XLM. So we'll check that out. And then that was the information about the test net. Michael Sutton says, being quiet just means things are running smoothly. We're aware of some performance aspects, which we are improving. And we are working on that in the background. There are also two other big up and coming KPI 9 smart mount formula for dust prevention. So I'll have to look at that one as well. But come on, guys. Let me know what you think about this. I think this is pretty cool. Um, being with a IT background, crypto as a whole fascinates me. And this uh, block DAG from Casper is definitely very fascinating. Let's see if we can go back to, let's see here, go to Matrix. And I think it's tracking a whole lot of information uh, about, I guess this is the server. So I'm not sure, but I'm going to look into this and get you guys back. You see here, clearly testing at 11. So I'm going to go through this and get you the information once I get it together. But I just wanted to let you know about that alpha release coming out or this already out. So go ahead and get it and check it out and let us know. And back to the cash, but dashboard. So Casper's down 1.1% to 9.8 cents. BPS is 1.8, or TPS is 1.8, BPS is 0.4. Uh, hash rate is 149.9 petahash. Percent mine is 78.22. Next reduction is 10 days down to 131. And then if we go to the ad, 323,000. So it looks like we are still having people leave. Looks like crabs is down 1.1%. Octopus is down 0.1%. Fish is up 0.2%. And dolphins up 0.2%. And whales up 04 And sharks is down 0.1% in the last 24 hours. Last seven days, uh, crabs are down 10.2%. Octopus is down 2.8%. Fish is down 03 Dolphins is up 05 Sharks is up 02 and the whales are down 0.4. And there are rumors that people are taking their Casper and investing in other um, altcoins, which is okay, right? Because you can go there and make some money and come on back and buy some Casper. But either way, I'm not mad at anyone leaving or selling or taking profits if that's what you need to do. So for movement, Gate.io is up to number two. So Gate.io address is down. 4.8 million. Mexi is down 7.9. Uphold didn't change. Mexi's up 7.6. Looks like they're still moving around address information. I'm not sure why. This Mexi is up 1.7 million. And BitGit is up 770,000. So if we look at just the address change, uh, BitGit where we stopped. Uh, Bybit is up 444,000 and KuCoin is up 2.2 million and this address is up a million. So there's definitely some movement here or stuff going on. So let me know if you have any information and we'll look at the crypto bubble real quick. So the crypto bubble has SEC down 1.5%, KDA is down 3.6%. Uh, SFM is down 5.9, 5, 4.5. Uh, OKB is up 5.8%, NEAR is up 1.1, 1 
Links down 2.3. Dodgers down one. Luna's down 1.8. Uh, ADA is down 1.7. Pepe's down 0.4. Sib's down 0.2. Beam's down one. Flex is up 1.9. Uh, Player Bull is up 3.5. Um, Ethereum Classic is up 1.2. Is anybody mining Ethereum Classic? And I did get your message about making another neural AI video. I might try to get to that today or tomorrow, but it's down 2.1%. XRP is down 0.9. USTC is down 0.6. Quant's down 1. And Helium is down 1.8. So let's look at the numbers for Casper. Remember, Casper, Casper, Casper. To stay current, go ahead and subscribe. And don't forget to like and comment. Let me know what you think about the alpha release. And if you think people are leaving Casper to buy other altcoins to come back. Either way it goes, just your opinion. So I think we're here. Uh, CoinGecko. Remember, CoinGecko's been with us the whole time. So Dance, who brought you to the party. Big shout out to CoinGecko. Uh, current price is 9.8 cents down 1.7%. Um, market cap is 2.2 billion. 24 hour trading volume is 14.9 million. Uh, fully diluted evaluation is 2.3 billion. And then the crown jewel of CoinGecko 24 hour range is low, uh, 9.6 cents, high 10 cents. Seven day range low is 9.3 cents and 10.6 cents. So all-time high is 15.2 cents, and we're down 34% from that. And that was two months ago. So coin ranking has CASPA. Let's see, haven't looked at this today. So CASPA's at 38, no movement. Um, 9.8 cents, market cap 2.2 billion, down 1.55%. Then if we look at... Uh, Coin market cap, coin market cap is 9.8 cents down 1.21%. Uh, market cap is 2.2 billion down 1.5%. 24 hour volume is 5.19 down 5% to 17.2 million. And yeah, we'll probably do a Casper price prediction at some point as well. So for the FIB, we're down to uh, bouncing around this 0 0.38. And we're at uh, 9.9 cents. Looks like um, MACD cross and started to come up. And looks like we're starting to get some volume on the RSI. So something might be happening, guys. Something happened in here. Okay. Um, yeah, it looks like we lost some volume. And looks like for the day, the RSI is flat. So let me know if you think there is a push coming or any new news about Casper or any other coin you're interested in. And we're going to make some more videos. Just trying to get caught up. I've been pretty busy. So just wanted to get a video out today. And don't forget, you got to remember... Diamond handed. And remember, Casper, Casper, Casper. And let's get back to the money, guys.